the first guy I shot was, uh, turned out was a police officer's son. Uh, but he, it was a domestic thing. He, he and these two women were fighting and he, he you know, he chased him up the uh, staircase, outdoor staircase. And, um, so I, I like, we're like, you know, we got on the air saying we got a disturbance here, me and my partner. And, um, uh, I went up the staircase to figure out what was going on. Cause it, they went in the, the house, the apartment, well, he comes out and the one lady, he throws her down the steps and I'm on the steps and, and this gal like rolls past me. Then here comes the second gal. He throws her down the steps and she rolls past me. So, so now I, you know, it's like, well, the, you know, this is pretty serious. And, um, so he's out there and he's screaming at me and, uh, he, he, he looks, he didn't have a gun on him, but he looks down and he pulls out this on the ground with a claw hammer. And I'm like four steps down from him, and I said, "Hey man, drop the hammer," you know. And he's like, "I ain't dropping the hammer because I'm gonna kill you." And I said, "Drop the hammer." And my partner—it happened so quick. My partner's still like getting out of the car, you know. And um, so he, um, he he just said, uh, "He's looking at me with the, he's got this hammer and he's frothing at the mouth." I mean, the guy's out of control. And it turns out he was on drugs, obviously, and he pulled that hammer back and started to, you know, throw it at me. And I said, I'm not, all I could see was this hammer sticking out of my forehead. And I said, no, screw that. And I, and I shot him and he fell off the balcony and, um, and he lived, luckily he lived. And, um, you know, I, I called his father the next day I said, I was, I didn't apologize cause I, I wasn't sorry I did it cause I, it was either me or him. And, um, he says, "Now nah, I'm just glad my son's still alive, and he's, you know, we're going to get him help. You know, he's, we got to get him off that. He's on drugs, and you know, the homicide detectives came to, um, you know, to, you know, they handle the police shootings, and there was a couple, you know, hardcore looking gang member looking guys across the street, and they waved this homicide detective over, and I'm thinking, like, all oh, these guys are going to make up a bunch of crap that I shot the guy for no reason or whatever." And the detective talked to him and took down some stuff. And he came back over and said, those two guys, I just, I go, what do those guys say? He said, well, they said, hey, man, we don't like the police. But that that officer had no choice but to shoot that guy. So that that kind of gave, <laughs> gave me some faith, you know, that, you know, that it was such a bad situation that even these guys who don't particularly like police officers, you know, they voluntarily came forward and, and, and made a statement.